Morning guys, it's the Friday after Christmas, two days after Christmas, and you can see it's 40 degrees out. It's kind of melting everywhere, but it's foggy today. It's been foggy since early this morning, so I don't know. Another slow day, I guess. I've got to take the dog out this morning quick after Sally feeds him, and then I'm going to... Uh, I'm hoping I get my parts for the snow plow. I probably won't get them today, probably uh, uh, Monday, I would imagine. My old neighbor buddy was just here having coffee, so he left. So I'm going to go take the dog. Hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas week. I had to put some uh, stuff in my greenhouse. If you look here, you can see like we're down to the stone here and there the grass is showing here and there But man this stuff that's not Thawed all the way down is really slippery and icy yet um, I Had said that I bought uh, some of those Springy things so you put on the bottom of your shoes. I forget what they call them But anyway, I put them on Sally's shoes. I didn't buy them for myself because I couldn't find a pair big enough but um she likes them and they work really nice. I'll show them to you when I find out where she is. And it's not that bad, but you just got to be careful on this stupid ice. Man, it's really foggy today. Hey guys, after lunch, the bulls I had been out this morning, I'm taking them with me for a quick walk. I uh, bought a new American flag the other day. I think it was the day before Christmas I bought it and I wanted to put it up. So I'm going to go put it up today. You know, I don't know, everything we buy nowadays is so, uh, it seems to be so inferior made. I remember my dad had a flag hanging at our house when I was a kid, I think that thing hung for 15 years and didn't have a tear or anything in it. I'll show you this flag up here, how bad it looks after one year. The thing is, is it doesn't matter where you buy them. Come on, Bullseye. Bullseye. Come on. It doesn't matter where you buy the flags. Everything is junk today. So I bought this at Lowe's. And we'll see how it compares to the one that I bought from Tractor Supply. I think this one was $8. This one up here was $5. And we'll take a look at it and see how it looks. <sighs> I think this weather slows me down. I feel beaten. I hardly did anything. I'll show you this after I set this stuff down and I can open the flag up a little. So anyway, this flag has looked like this for about a month because I I didn't th I kept forgetting it in the beginning, but then you can see how badly it looks. It's got holes in it and whatnot. And the thing is, is like th this I know I'm on top of the mountain. But this is not really a windy place here. There's a lot of trees up here that the wind has to go through. And uh, it just tore the daylights out of this flag. Now the flag looks about the same, I don't know if it's the same thickness as this one or not. It looks like it's about the same. But anyway, maybe this is a little heavier, who knows. Everything today, like I say, is made like junk. So I'm going to take this flag down and put that one up. And it'll look a lot better. It's a shame that this flag tore to pieces like this, but that's the way it is. And I don't like it like that anyhow. So I'm going to change that quick. Well, that looks a lot better there. The wind's flying in a different direction. but Oh, and there's a little tag on the top of this one. Right on the top there. 
It says made in the USA, so maybe it'll last, but I'm glad to get one made in the US rather than it being made in China. It's not that I hate the Chinese, because I don't. I just hate what they try to stand for. Okay, Bullseye. So there's our full new flag. Looks like it was just windy enough to show it off on the video, because there's really no wind today. God bless America. Now even though know this flag is made in China, we still burn our flags when we take them down. So I'm going to be putting the flag in here and burning it. Lord, I don't think that America is a more holy place than anywhere else, but it's certainly been holy for us, and we thank you for it. And I ask that you keep that flag flying out there 24 hours a day. That's how I want it. Amen. Hey, YouTube. So these are Sally's work boots that she uses to go over to the chickens, and I just wanted you to see... Um, these are, these are the uh, springs that I put on the bottom of a boot. Now these fit really nice. You can see the rubber goes up over there pretty good on front and back. Um, what do you think of these things? I think they're very fine. Say it again. They're very fine. They're very fine? Well they're that's good. good. So they haven't come off or anything. Um, when I first bought them, I was going to tie string from one side to the other because um, we had a, another pair of Sally once had and they didn't last a day before they had her fallen because they were coming off her shoe. But these really stay on the shoe nice. I actually like these. Now I couldn't find these in a size to fit my boot, which um, my boot is a little bigger than hers. So... You know, I couldn't find a pair, but I will if I can. I'm not too crazy about having these. She only uses these shoes to go to the chickens. But the shoes that I wear, I use them to go outside all the time. And it's really a nuisance having these on the bottom of my shoes because I take my shoes off every single time I come in the house. But, you know, you got to have something when it's icy. And these definitely work really well for her. She's had no problems. She hasn't fallen, which is... You know a good thing so I thought I'd just show them to you so you know what they look like but uh, yeah they were 20 I think they were 20 they were either 22. yeah 22 something or 27 right 22 and, change. 22 and change she said so they work good for her and uh, anybody who's having problems walking in the ice or whatever you might want to get yourself a pair of these because they really work nice So I, she had the box laying here yet from, because she has some Christmas stuff there of hers laying around, but what I wanted to show you was the name of them, they're called Yank Tracks <coughs> Walk. Winter traction for all you do, ultra lightweight, ice traction, e easy on and off and spikeless. Okay, well, the thing is, is that's not the name that uh, I know them by. But anyway, you can see they have different sizes here. And this was at uh, a local department store in Wellsboro. There's a store called Dunham's. And Dunham's had them. So we got them there. And like I say, they work really well. So, yeah. And now I don't know the price where you live, but that's what the price was here. And that's okay, because as long as they work. 
Alright guys, well that's it for today's video. Um, I hope that this might help somebody because uh, I know they really work good on her and Sally. She likes them a lot. Have a good one.